A uh, triple killer travelled to MI5's London headquarters and was caught on camera begging, please arrest me, two years before knifing to death three people in Nottingham last year. Valdo Calo Kane was suffering from paranoid schizophrenia when he brutally stabbed students Barnaby Weber and Grace O'Malley Kumar, both 19, and school caretaker Ian Coates, aged 65, in Nottingham in the early hours of the 13th of June. Psychiatrists told Nottingham Crown Court that Callow Kane had a history of mental health issues, uh, had heard voices telling him to kill people and believed he was being controlled by radio and sonic control. The former mechanical engineer graduate who attended the same university as two of his victims has admitted three counts of manslaughter on the basis of diminished responsibility. He also pleaded guilty to three charges of attempted murder after hitting three pedestrians with a van he stole from Mr Coates. Callow Kane's barrister told the court that the defendant once visited MI5's London headquarters asking them to stop controlling him. Peter Joyce KC said he tried to surrender to MI5 at their headquarters to try and stop them controlling him. Uh, that's not a concoction by him. There is a photograph taken by their systems at Thames House saying, please arrest me effectively, stop controlling me. Dr. Leon McSweeney, a consultant psychiatrist, said the defendant felt pressure to kill people otherwise something atrocious would happen to his family. Uh, now the family of Ian Coates are on BBC News today talking of uh, their father's death, uh, his wife and his two children I think. And they believe, which is actually, to be fair, I did think it yesterday, that we've not really heard much about the caretaker. So, uh, they've spoken to the BBC. Stubborn. <laughs> um, Still stubborn in his old age. Yeah, yeah, taught me to fish, but said I was absolutely rubbish. See? <laughs> <laughs> Fishing, football, family. The things that Ian Coates loved most. He wasn't uh, the one to constantly say, I love you, but we felt that love in the family household. I had to hold myself onto a, a lamppost to keep myself up because it just, the whole world around me just disappeared. Sorry, my daughter rang me. I just screamed, I couldn't believe it. I didn't believe it. How do you feel? towards Valda Calacane. Hatred. He's, to me, the most evil person on this planet. He went out and brutally <laughs> massacred three people, then attempted to kill another three, which luckily it was poor. It's calculated, premeditated, and therefore it should be murder. He has to spend the rest of his life behind bars, <laughs> otherwise we have been let down once again by this country and the judicial system. You're angry? Oh, yeah, I'm super angry. I'm trying to be as composed as possible. Um, you know, the guy's a coward. It feels like he's the forgotten man because of his age and because of whatever circumstances when he should be celebrated. It feels like we were left in the dust like he was. He was such a kind man. And all he was doing was going to work. That's the one I was doing. Navtej Johal, BBC News, Nottingham.